We have Tabasco pepper buds. Y'all see that one right there? There are lots of them. Good evening everybody. Welcome to Saturday. It is already after five o'clock this evening and we're about to eat supper. We're just having leftover pizza because we have at least two whole pizzas, you know, if you put them all together. And we have some of the honey chipotle chicken wings left over. Possibly a few cheese sticks in here too. I thought I only ordered six wings anyway, but there are six left and I know two of them were eaten. So I must have ordered eight or either they just accidentally gave me eight. We have half of the Supreme. There's some cheese sticks. You guys show me a song? Well, I say Supreme. They call it the works at Papa John's. He's showing us a song. That's good. Pretty much the whole New York style pepperoni is left except for the one piece I think Jonah ate. Yeah, just one piece missing from that one. Pretty much half of the cheese stuffed crust pizza. So yeah, that's what's for supper. Nobody ate any for lunch today because most people haven't even been here all day long. It's been a really busy day. We actually just got back again about 30 minutes ago. We had some places to go this morning and then me and Cece and Manly were here for a good bit of the day, but we didn't eat pizza for lunch. They ate sandwiches. I didn't even eat anything for lunch yet. Well, I did eat um, some of the peaches that I already diced up the other day. I had some peaches. Then at about four o'clock, we went back to town because I needed to clean out the van and get it ready to load all the music equipment we're playing in the morning and we're gonna get everything loaded tonight so I wanted it to be clean because you know it's better if it's clean so we went to do that and then Jacob needed to go into AutoZone it's right there beside the Dollar Tree and it was taking him a little bit so me and Cece were like should we go see what's going on in the Dollar Tree we did so here's the little haul that we got while we were waiting on him I'll show y'all all the Dollar 25 stuff first I got this pumpkin silicone mold thought this would be fun one morning or something if I make pumpkin muffins to make four of them in the actual shape of the pumpkin that would be cute so I got that I got two pair of nail clippers because we needed some the other night and couldn't find any so I got those and I got two of these craft bottles with the black and white buffalo check lids uh, Jacob and Tyler were talking about bugles the other day so I got a pack for them I got original for Tyler Jake wanted nacho cheese so we got those and these book bins. I got one for each of the little kids. What I like to do with these during school is the night before I go ahead and pull out their worksheets and get everything that they're going to need for the next day that way that morning. We're not having to search for worksheets and they're not having to search for it. It's all just their full day's work inside their little bin. Cece wanted this avocado one and then I got dinosaur ones for Jonah and Manly. So that's all the $1.25 stuff. This was in the Dollar Tree Plus section. It was $3. It's just a weak dry erase board and it has a little cork strip down here too. It comes with the marker and the little things to hang it up on the back. I have two or three different ideas that I want to use this for. You can use it for a meal plan. I'm not gonna use it for a meal plan, but this would be a good meal plan thing for only $3. It could be a cleaning list, a chore chart, lots of different things. I don't know, I have several different ideas. We'll see what we do with it. I thought that was it, I forgot about this. Jonah was wanting to color some dinosaurs the other day, but he said all the ones in the dinosaur coloring book that I got are baby-like dinosaurs, so. <laughs> For little kids you know so i saw this one while we were in there and i grabbed this and it has space stuff dinosaurs i think i saw some sharks in here too pizza i think i saw a shark where are you at shark oh yeah there it is so i think he'll like that one all right i'm gonna go ahead and make a salad to go with the pizza i'm just gonna let everybody warm up what they want you know the pieces that they want to eat and i'm just gonna make the salad to go with it and then we're making a chocolate cake it's called sunday chocolate cake but we're making it on Saturday. Some will be left over though, I'm sure, for tomorrow. So it's gonna be a Saturday and Sunday chocolate cake. Titus and Jonah still aren't back yet. They went and did some stuff with his uncle today. I picked these peppers from the grow bag garden earlier. I'm gonna eat these with my salad and pizza. You want cheese or pepperoni? Um, no. Cheese. Cheese, okay. I thought so. Manly and Sissy want cheese. Okay, let me get a plate. I think Tyler's outside on the phone and Jacob is down there doing some stuff with his truck. He's changing parts and different things on his truck. Manly likes to drink milk with his pizza, y'all. Y'all know what that reminds me of. Kevin! That's your hint, that's your hint. <laughs> about it 
like being hot outside. Everybody's putting out their fall stuff. Well, let me just take a big old smell of this right here. Yeah. Oh, pumpkin ain't supposed to do that to you. No. It's supposed to make you think about gobble gobble. Okay, this is what Cece wants to wear tomorrow. I'm making sure everybody has what they want to wear clean and ready to go. Cece's good, Manny's good, Mama's good. Now, we gotta check all these other men, folks. Good. Tyler already said he needs some stuff washed, so we'll see if Jonah and Jacob need something washed, too. Say here, Mama. Mm -hmm, give me another one. Is this Tyler's? Nope, I think that's Daddy's. I think this is Daddy's. Then we have our horse cover. I think that's Jonah's. Socks, thank you. Thank you. That's heavy. Yeah, that's heavy, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody has what they want to wear tomorrow except for Tyler. He's going to bring his clothes down and get those started. Everybody else is good, so it is now time to make a chocolate cake. This is called Sunday Chocolate Cake. The lady who wrote the recipe said that her grandma had this chocolate cake on the table every Sunday when she was growing up and that it's the best chocolate cake. So we're gonna give it a try. First, we're gonna mix the dry ingredients and I have the oven preheated to 375. The recipe says 400, but my oven, we've talked about this so many times, it has a tendency to overcook things. So we're just going with 375. I'm out of sugar and flour in here, so we'll run and get that real quick and fill these up. So this recipe does not specify if this is self-rising flour or all purpose, but what I have learned is that if you see salt, baking powder, baking soda, or just salt, baking soda, or just salt and baking powder, more than likely that means you need all-purpose flour because self-rising already has the salt and other stuff in it. So that's what I look for when it doesn't say for sure which flour to use. And this one does have salt and baking soda in the recipe. So we're gonna go with all-purpose. Now, what else do we need in here? Half a teaspoon of salt. If I can get my top back on the sugar there. And one teaspoon of baking soda. You can just use that same teaspoon, uh, half a teaspoon there and just get two of them. We'll sit this over to the side. In this one, we're gonna put the wet ingredients. We need two eggs, Sissy. One and a half cups of whole milk. You can go ahead and be whisking those. I'm gonna get two teaspoons of vanilla. One tablespoon of vinegar. I think that's it for that part. We're gonna sit this over to the side and get out a pot for the chocolate part. into the dry ingredients. Okay, now we're gonna whisk in the other wet ingredients, the eggs and the milk. All right, you already got the pan sprayed? Okay, Cece's got the pan ready for us. We'll get this all whisked together. And it's going in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Like I said, I'm doing mine at 375 instead of 400, so it might take just a little bit longer. I'll start checking it at 15 minutes. Just about two more minutes on the cake, so we're gonna go ahead and start the icing. We have half a cup of butter in there. We're gonna go ahead and pour in the milk, that was a fourth of a cup and two tablespoons. Now we need a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder. So we let the butter melt and let this get all smooth. Then we're gonna add in some powdered sugar and vanilla. Right when it starts to boil, we'll remove it. We've got it on about medium heat.
Sunday chocolate cake. I don't even like chocolate cake, but I'm telling you, if you want a piece of chocolate cake, this is the one to make. It is great. It definitely tastes like grandma's house. Well, not like her actual. It tastes like it came from grandma's house. Y'all know what <laughs>